it slowed us down, honey. We've only been making 80 knots, and we should have been doing 110. Is that the reason we're so late? Yeah. And poor Bill and Jane have been waiting at the airport for 45 minutes already. I hope they're not too worried. Like three zero weather. Wind three five zero at one eight. Gusting to two five. Visibility one. Rain. Ceiling nine hundred overcast. Temperature one zero two point nine er altimeter three zero zero six. Landing and departing runway two seven. Wow, the weather's a lot worse than they forecast. It's raining and there's a stiff crosswind. I sure wish I had planned to take more fuel so we had enough to go somewhere else. Hello, fellow pilots. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. Folks, today we're going to address a serious subject that can save your life and the lives of the people you cherish. Weather-related accidents cause by far the highest level of fatalities in general aviation. And all of them can be prevented. The biggest cause of fatal accidents is continued VFR flight into worsening weather conditions. Now, do pilots deliberately take off in weather that they know will kill them? Of course not. What happens is the weather changes, but the pilot goes ahead as if nothing had happened. Weather flying, regardless of whether it's VFR or IFR, makes the greatest demands on a pilot. And that's because more than any other changes that occur in flight, weather changes require the pilot to change his or her plans. So weather is one of the most important risks to manage in flying. And weather especially requires proactive rather than reactive risk management. 